Hello, MCM Manchester. We are live on the Buzz stage with Andrew Lee Potts. How are we all this morning or this afternoon, should I say? Oh, that's, that's a bit weak, isn't it, Andrew? Is that on? No, it's not. I think it's on. It's not. I think you just turned it off. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh, Jesus. Andrew's in the house. Hello. 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 So how are we all, Manchester? Come on. Oh, Andrew's here. Right. One more, one more really big one, like Covent Garden, and then it brings everybody else around. How, How are, are we, we, Manchester? <laughs> yes. Come on. Raise the in. roof. So. Go for the Northerners. <laughs> How have you been, Andrew? Very well, thank you. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired at the moment. It's been a long weekend, but I love every minute of it, so. Yeah, so how's the stall been going? Bit, like you Very said, Very good, busy, the mood's yeah? great. Getting the word out there about wireless, uh, oh. as usual, which is great. Um, Hopefully got a few new supporters, so that's why I do these things, to spread the word. Yeah, no wireless cosplays yet, is there? No, not one wireless cosplay not one. yet. Yeah, no. I get a lot of Connor Temple yeah. cosplay, but not one yet, <laughs> but yeah. So That'd be cool when it happens. Firstly, where can we find wireless? Okay, www.wirelessweb.london. I don't know why that won't stay in my head www.wirelessweb.london. That's the website that you can go online. Basically, it's a link to YouTube, uh, which is eight episodes online already uh, and a lot more to come. So. Oh, I mean, I love it. Like I said, on here, I've, I've made the note here. It's a cross between the bill, car share, and Night Rider. Yeah, with less singing. Yeah, less yeah. singing. Yeah. Not, not, <laughs> not that there was a lot of singing in the bill. It, no. <laughs> Maybe that's why it ended. Should have oh. done a musical episode. Like a carpool. No, car. I wouldn't want to watch that. No, actually. No. <laughs> Thinking the bill was great, wasn't it, back in the day? Could you see yourself in the bill? Never did the bill. Everybody's like little claim to fame is like, I've done the bill. I've done. I've been an extra. Or I've been casually. I haven't done any of those shows. No, no. never no. interested you. Um, it's never come up. I got really lucky when I was younger. You know, I got in from the age of seventeen. I got. I started. I got my first feature film. So we showed up yeah. in Sundance Film Festival, and then I just kind of went from there. They're really cool uh, trainers, by the way. Oh, I wow, like, look at them. I like lights. I've got a bit of an obsession with lights. Anybody that sees my booth can probably work that out. Imagine me when I went to Vegas. I was like... <gasps> Could you come up on stage and show us these shoes? Yeah. They're kind of like the lights out of the car. Yeah. They're, they're if you get up on, stand up on stage for us, look at these shoes, everyone. Wow. Yeah, and now can you do the running man? Yeah, do the running man. No, come oh. on. Do it like that. You just do it like Andrew's that. Andrew's up. Oh, we'll all do it. We'll all do it. Come on in. Oh. Thanks. No, thank you very much for that. So, yeah, so you have an obsession with lights? I have a bit, yeah. Really? Yeah, I just like colour and uh, all different colours mixed together and stuff. I guess that was my little obsession at starting directing. I did very visual things, so yeah. um, I do like colour. You can tell that by my trainers, probably. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have lights on them. So my favourite character in wireless is Falcon. Yes, very Commissioner devious. Falcon. Yeah, he can be... I, I, well, I Thanks very much. Just yeah. Gone over my character. No. Charming. <laughs> no, Falcon's a good no, character. Falcon's he, a good character. He's, um, there's a lot more uh, to him than meets the eye as well. And I feel he could bring a lot more out in your character as well. He does, yeah. He's kind of my uh, arch yeah. enemy, really. But yeah, I, think it I can't give away too much right now, but no. in the next couple of episodes, you're going to see a lot more of Falcon. Literally, a lot more skin as well. Yeah. <laughs> not, not of me, though. Not of oh. me. No, no nudist scenes. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> so your character looks like he's been really through the mill. Like, really through the mill. He has, and it's all his fault, really, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's a really good cop. Um, and he's got his heart's in the right place. But, you know, he's a bit... Um, what's the word? He can be a little bit gung-ho about yeah. what he does and the way he does it. And that gets him into a lot of trouble. Uh, he's a bit emotionally stunted in the sense of... He obviously feels emotions and stuff, but doesn't really know how to express them. He deals with everything with sarcasm. And, yeah. and Unit White's there to break that down in him. So she's learning from him and he's learning from her. So it's a, it's a kind of nice little twist in our world. Yeah. So. so the talent you work with all work for free? Everybody in wireless works for completely yeah. free, yeah. All yeah. the cast, all the crew. We don't have many crew, um, but all, everybody, all the cast. That's why there's such a big gap between e each episode because I have to coordinate all the yeah. actors and obviously they have to prioritise paid work first like anybody would. 
and then when they've got time, they gladly give it to me, and I'm very happy and grateful for that. So. It is a good cast, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I love the cast. It's is, is amazing. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of, it's funny, if you look through the cast, it's like a, like a little journey of the people I've worked with through my life yeah. that I've <laughs> become uh, really good friends with, and now they're, you know, happy yeah. to help me out, and see they see my passion in it, and they... Lead on from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So... What car is it that is actually being driven? Because I was trying to work it out. I'm watching and I'm thinking... Um, I'm not telling you. I don't know. You're not going to tell you're me? You're not supposed to know. That's kind of like the uh, idea. But Knight Rider, you, you were like outside the car. You are like, wow, look at that car. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. then in, in yours, it's kind of like this whole kind of... It is like a squad car, isn't it? That the thing is, is that car is... Initially, you think the car is really important, but it's less mm. important than you think. Mm. When you get to episode eight and it goes into the ghost, which is the drone which follows me around yeah. and my watch... That's kind of where we wanted to get to in the world, but yeah. I had to s I had to set this world of the car being the safety zone. Yeah. Uh, but internally, the car, the exterior, of the car is not really important. Um, so yeah, I haven't really focused, focused on that. Yeah. Would you think that people would want to see maybe a better car, or would you just literally think, right, we've done the car, we're going to move on? Because in a previous interview, you well, have said the world's going to be getting bigger yeah. as, as episodes well, the thing, carry the on. The thing is, well, she's not. Any any car, a lot of cars now have wireless yeah. capabilities. So theoretically, any car she could travel into. Yeah, she so could too. Yeah. Get me in a Mustang. <laughs> be yeah, wicked. there you go. Uh, I like the it. Bu the budget won't stretch <laughs> to that at the minute, but. So obviously, this this character's dark and intense. Um, is that the kind of character you love to play? Like s some guy that's been a bit scarred and a and a, 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 a you know what I mean? Um, it's funny. I was saying this earlier. I. I a lot of my characters up to the about the age of 25 are like serial killers or yeah. kids that have been through a lot of trauma. Um, that's what I thought was my thing. Ne I thought like that me, was yeah. me. Um, and then I got cast in Primeval, which was something that I'd never played before. I'd never played the kind of good guy. Um, I'd never really done much comedy on TV. And then this, this job came up and I just you know kind of fit me like a glove really yeah um and i got to be i guess more of myself within yeah. it and and what was lovely as an actor is realizing that i could bring a lot of the stuff that i did naturally that came naturally to me with the humor and stuff and yeah. people seem to really appreciate that really buy into it so and that was great and then that led on to me playing hatter in alice and because there is yeah. humor in wireless like you, you said like there is some humor in wireless oh there's loads of humor in wireless yeah, yeah. i can't Every other line of Jacobs is some sort of sarca sarcastic comment, yeah. and also <laughs> it's a very Spock Kirk relationship with oh, Peter White, and, and definitely he's Kirk, and so. But there's a lot of fun in that. I mean, it's a tried and te tested relationship, buddy yeah. cop down kind of thing, and uh, people seem to like it, and it still seems to work. So we sort of went with that. So on your Twitter, you said something about some new characters, the Gambits. Oh yeah, the Gambits are coming into it. They're wicked. They're like the um, the best European hackers all oh. team up but they're basically they work for people who pay the biggest price so they can be bad and good it's the grey area oh right so we've got lots to look forward to then with wireless yeah loads of new future. characters loads of uh, we've got some good um, kind of action sequences a really good action sequence in episode 10 yeah. I think it will shock people actually really so, yeah you're looking forward to filming then scenes are you kind of an action we filmed them. Yeah, we filmed, we yeah, filmed, yeah, we filmed yeah. four more episodes already yeah. and we're just waiting um, to finish the uh, production on, on them to get them out there. So Nice. So you're the founder of Keychain Productions. I am indeed. What can we look forward to from Keychain well, Productions Keychain, in the I future? After last year, I won the Reed Film Competition at BAFTA and I won grand prize for my short film. So I kind of put a lid on the short films for now um, and then to concentrate on wireless um, so I think probably realistically the next thing I might do another short but hopefully I, eventually I will do a movie so yeah. I'm in talks with a, a certain producer at the moment to develop a film um, which I would hopefully direct and so we'll see if that comes to fruition at the moment so, so you enjoy directing I love directing and, and writing uh, writing's not really my thing. No. I love script editing, yeah. Uh, but writing dialogue is not really my thing. I can no. tell what's right and what's wrong about a script because okay. I'm so used to and experienced yeah. with scripts. Yeah. Um, but actually coming up with the... I'm good at coming up with the ideas, but getting it all down on a page initially is not my really forte. Okay. Um, that's where Alex Moss, who's the co-creator of Wireless, comes in yeah. and helps me, and he's helped me write uh, most of my short films as well. Okay. Um, I mean, I spoke to you the other day, didn't I? I met you, um, yeah. and you said the guy that writes The Musketeers done some... Oh, Adrian Hodges. Yeah. Um, can you see yourself being a musketeer? 
Uh, yeah, I guess. I or can, being in that world. I can grow the facial hair for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the hair. I've got the Sit hair. Sit there, the long, there. dark hair, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I learned to ride a horse in uh, Alice, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I reckon I could be a musketeer. You could pull that right off, I think. A really northern <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Are you going to be in the next season of Lucky Man? That's a question I, I've been asked today. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've not been asked back as of yet. Um, they have started filming the series, but as far as I'm aware, it's a 10-part series. Yeah. Um, they did leave my character with a lot of unanswered questions, yeah, questions that, yeah. going on. Uh, I did help him break out of prison. He does kind of owe me one now. Everything in Lucky Man, expect the unexpected. You know, yeah. things come around and characters pop up all the time. So we'll see. I mean, it'd be interesting if they asked me back. And It'd be um, brilliant. I mean, I am in prison for murder, so it's kind of hard to work with that. But in EastEnders and other soaps, no, they do they, get out, don't yeah, they? Yeah. You know, they do get out. There's always a loophole somewhere along the line. Yeah, maybe there's a, a Lucky Man loophole, yeah. which will include my, my characters to come back in and my little man bun. That's it. <laughs> no. yeah. so we left in it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, can you tell me about the host? Oh, host. Yeah, it's um, a psychological uh, British uh, drama movie thing. Um, drama movie thing. It's a movie. Um, hopefully out at the beginning of the next year. Um, it's very interesting. I can't say too much. I don't want to give it away. Um, but it's about kind of... You know, like the websites like Airbnb and I know there's others where you rent out your property... Um, so basically a young couple rent out their property uh, they're very rich I'm a fashion photographer I'm with an actress and we come back and there's uh, blood smeared all over the house and the people have gone or have they so I don't basically, really want to use Airbnb again now well, is it? well there's, 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 there's other websites yeah, as well that's <laughs> as they say on the radio um, but yeah so it's really it's like a kind of a slow burn psychological thing yeah. which is really cool and then a massive explosive ending um, but it was great to film that we shot it in Notting Hill um, so yeah so that's Brilliant. the last job I did and the last movie I did Okay, so you're kind of going into the horror kind of genre now, really. I've done loads you? of horror yeah, films. You've done I forget, actually. The, the House of Salem, I've, you've been, it's been yeah, announced. That's the Hatching. Hatching's out in October, yeah. Which has got a great tagline, which is, does for the moors what Jaws done for the beaches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about crocodiles in Somerset. Um, so, but it's a bit of fun. Um, oh, but I've fun. done, like, um, I did Return to the House on Haunted Hill. Yeah. I did uh, Red Mist. The uh, Red Claw Way has also been announced. That's yeah, another I did, um, horror. What else? Oh, 1408 with yeah. John Cusack, Samuel Jackson. I did a bit in that. Um, do you like the kind of horror genre? Do you, do you like yeah. the, the horror films? What's I, your favourite favorite horour film? My personal favourite yeah. horror film. When I was a kid, uh, the Hellraiser scared the out of me. Really? Yeah, that was a film I watched, obviously illegally, because I was under 18 <laughs> at the time. But that's how I used to sit down with my buddies and go, oh my God. Oh, wow, yeah. um, that scared me more than Freddy. I thought Freddy Krueger was awesome, but um, yeah, the whole Hellraiser thing kind of, I thought it was really dark and twisted. Um, but I like things now that you, I guess you wouldn't say they were horror, but the kind of cross, you know, like Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. It goes into that realm. Right. Um, so I, I prefer things a little bit more like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. So if you could be, say, an iconic horror character... What, what character would that be? If they come up to you and said, right, we're going to give you, say, Freddy, Jason, etc., oh etc., et what would you, who what would you, would you be? What would you be? I'd go Freddy. Cliché. Yeah. Um, no. no, I don't know. No? I, don't, I actually, I've never thought about that, and I, offhand, I can't think. i tell you, I saw a horrible, a horrible horror. Uh, it was out a few years ago. It's a British thing called Eden Lake. Never, never heard of it or seen it. No, well, it, explain? it's about a couple who go to uh, camping. Yeah, and they come across kind of a load of chavs for a sense of better way of describing it. Yeah, um, and it's kind of the horror that brings out in people, and it's oh. just like it's, it's really interesting. So I like things like that more than your actual classic, oh. scary, bad, kind of psychological yeah, as well. Yeah, probably, getting in your head stuff. Yeah, I think that's a bit scary. Yeah, I do because but you can't. How do you fight something like that? It's hard to no. deflect that if it's psychological. It's so. kind of, yeah, it's kind of just gets in your head in beds and then you're kind of yeah, that's pushed the sort of so many, so many emotions. Exactly. Yeah. So what about kind of like in the horror things and stuff like that? I know I'm going on a bit about horror. Yeah. Um, 
I just find it intriguing that you've just gone into it, you know. So kind of what about the, like the, the gore and stuff like that? Like you're not f you're the gore, like the kind of like horrific oh, the kind gore of, of it yeah, all. the gore of it all. You're not oh. really phased by stuff like that, or you kind of a bit like I someone walks on set with like say half a rib hanging out that they've just painted on this guy. You kind of like yeah, what? No, no, no. I've got to show you something that you can't see. Oh, wow. So this is how I end I like up, it. This is how I end up in. Um, in the host movie, I can't show you because it gives stuff away. But talking about goal, we had a guy from the who did all the effects on The Walking Dead to come right. over and. Um, you a fan of The Walking Dead? Oh my god! Don't get me started. I totally love The so Walking Dead. So if any Dead. producers or directors are watching The Walking Dead, he needs. Really? Yeah. Good though, isn't it? That is amazing. So that's how I end up in the film, but you can't give anything away. No, I won't. No. Thank you very much for that. That's really annoying, isn't it? Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, we're going to end on that because I'm shocked. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrew Lee Potts. It's always a pleasure to have you on the buzz stage. Always, oh, always a pleasure. A pleasure. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for you guys here. We have a charity auction coming up. For you guys at home, there's a Pokemon on the stage. Andrew Lee Potts, can you find this Pokemon? He's really not understanding this. The same as oh, what the, the two Musketeer yeah. girls. Yeah. <laughs> 